The Connecticut chapter of the Proud Boys recently tried to donate to Enfield Loaves and Fishes. It's a food bank in the city of Enfield over there in Connecticut. The Proud Boys of Connecticut had collected 1,511 items for their second annual food drive. So they went ahead and dropped off this food, and then the food bank contacted them after the drop-off, telling them that they were rejecting the donation, and that the food had to be picked up within 48 hours or it would be thrown away. It was the decision of Executive Director Maya Matthews who cited their policies, including whether acceptance would damage the soup kitchen's reputation. Now, hold on for a second. This is a you know soup kitchen and food pantry. They were willing to throw away the food rather than distribute it to their community because they're concerned about their reputation. Because for me, I would think that if you were a food bank that was throwing away food, that would be somewhat damaging to your reputation, or rather, that it ought to be. But here's the thing, even charities now are afraid of being cancelled for simply being affiliated with groups that have been smeared as being racist. Maya also cited the contrast of values between the Proud Boys and the Food Bank. I've looked over the tenets of the Connecticut Proud Boys as listed on their website, they seem pretty libertarian. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't take their food, but even if they weren't libertarian, let's just say that they, they were a really problematic group. Why would you refuse to accept food for distribution on your own basis to those who need it? It didn't come with a whites-only distribution requirement. I mean, let's say it was the Klan, or the Nation of Islam, I'm just choosing hateful groups at random here. Why reject their food for distribution to the poor and the needy. It doesn't make sense, and it's not moral. Uh, this is not the, the first and only case of this happening. Hands on Hartford is another such organization that rejected a Proud Boys food donation last year. This is the new leftist virtue signal. Let the poor go hungry, because that makes us better. I, I don't get it, but that's a thing. Uh, Mark Meachin, who you might better know as Count Dankula online, recently tweeted, and I quote, If you want to know how bad things have gotten regarding the culture war and how badly people fear consequences for going against the status quo, charities are actually refusing to accept the donation from my remaining legal fund because they are afraid of backlash, unquote. If you don't remember who he is, he's the comedian who was arrested in Scotland for teaching his dog to do a Nazi salute for a comedic skit. So, uh... I do think he's right, that we have a society of fear now, and I don't think that a lot of people realize just how bad that is, but we have a society that is built on fear to a degree that there are people who are unwilling to do what even they believe is right, i.e. feed the poor, out of fear of consequence. Now, in the particular case of the first food bank that I mentioned in Maya, it seems quite possible that instead she had a personal vendetta against the Proud Boys, but in other instances here, what we do see seems to be charities that are actively afraid that they might be cancelled, that they might face some degree of repercussion, that they might face cancelling, which you might think is ludicrous, but it happens. And businesses really are destroyed for their affiliations and for their Twitter posts and such things. So we, we have such an age of fear and we're sort of I don't want to say building our society on it, because I'm not sure that, that counts as building at all. But our society is going to collapse if people are unafraid to speak the truth and even, even do such a little thing as accept a charitable, charitable donation from somebody else who happens to speak the truth from time to time.